flags have once again been lowered on Parliament Hill, this time honoring one of the longest serving MPs Canada has ever known. Herb Gray had many titles over his years in Ottawa. Deputy Prime Minister, Leader of the Opposition, Minister of too many portfolios to list. But he was also known by a handful of nicknames that some say best described him. Senior correspondent Terry Malewski explains. Terry. Well, Peter, whether you called him Grey Herb or the Grey Fog, the nicknames tended to stick to Herb Grey, a master of smothering awkward questions in a blanket of verbiage. I think that one has to reject the premise of the Honourable Member's question. For nearly 40 years, Herb Gray was the Liberal Party's Mr. Reliable, managing difficult files and fending off attacks with his trademark fog. Intelligent blurring. He knew how to soften the impact, convert it into something positive, and uh, he was very skillful in, uh, in handling that sort of thing. The voice in our cabinet for... The Windsor area and but one thing Herb Gray never blurred was his focus on his home riding of Windsor. He made it the home of the Chrysler minivan by convincing Pierre Trudeau to save Chrysler from going under. And Windsor elected him 13 times. I've always wanted to set a record not of length of service but of quality of service. Still, the bland public image changed behind the scenes where he wasn't bland at all. He had an incredible sense of humor, which wasn't obvious to the public, but in private, he was an absolute riot. Well, he didn't riot much in public, but... That's a good way of getting the creative juices going. He did play a lot of rock music. Then Herb and I would usually wander off somewhere, and there would be some kind of weird rock and roll music that Herb loved, and we'd listen to that. He liked the Rolling Stones and, and Bruce Sp Springsteen and Neil Young. Today, Gray's widow, Sharon, said he loved both music and politics. Oh, okay. Way too understated to be a star himself, Gray still had his colleagues on their feet when he retired after nearly four decades in Parliament. Being in Parliament, there's nothing that compared to being in Parliament, he would always say. It's just something that people should think is the highest calling. There will not be a state funeral for Herb Gray. His family is not seeking one, but there is plenty of respect across the aisle. The Prime Minister's office called Gray a tremendous parliamentarian, and Industry Minister James Moore tweeted that Gray caught every fastball we threw with his bare hand and smiled. Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Malofsky.